How big can green hydrogen really become? And which companies will lead the way? Let's find out. A study recently estimated that one kilogram of hydrogen can produce about 23 kilowatt hour of electricity. By comparison, the per capita consumption of electricity in India is 1300 kilowatt hour per year. That means we need to produce about 9 billion kilograms of green hydrogen to meet the entire country's demand. And since each kilogram of hydrogen costs about $4 to make, the total market for this becomes about $36 billion or 3 lakh crore rupees. That is the market that four of these companies today are looking to target over the next few years. The first of these stocks is NTPC. But before we go into the stock, I want to answer two very important questions. Do we have the resources we need to manufacture all this green hydrogen? And second, is it cost effective when compared to other energy sources? Well, the most crucial resource for hydrogen production is water. We need about 9.1 litres of water to produce 1 kilogram of hydrogen. That means for 9 billion kilograms of hydrogen, we would need about 100 billion litres of water. That is a lot. For perspective, the total water consumption in India was at about 200 billion litres last year. The good news though is that we don't have to produce this amount of water every year. See, when hydrogen is converted into energy, water is also released as a byproduct, and this water can then be reused for hydrogen production again. And if green hydrogen can become a near unlimited source of energy, it might as well be worth it to source this water from desalination plants instead of tapping into our freshwater reserves. So from a resources standpoint, green hydrogen can very well meet all of India's energy demands and in fact produce more so as to make India a net exporter of energy. About the costs, we know that it costs about $4 to produce 1 kilogram of green hydrogen right now, but the government intends to reduce this to $1 by 2030. But even at current prices, it would cost us about $36 billion annually to produce the green hydrogen and that is only 1% of our GDP. We spent four times that on our energy imports just last year. So green hydrogen actually has the potential to save India hundreds of billions of dollars annually. In fact, it is the cheapest form of clean energy out there. There is a problem with this technology though. Hydrogen is an extremely flammable gas, so its transportation and storage is still a problem that we are trying to solve. And that is what brings us to our first stock, NTPC. They recently signed an MOU with the government of Maharashtra to produce 1 million tonnes of green hydrogen per year. That is an added sales of about 35,000 crores per year. Additionally, and more importantly, NTPC plans to produce a derivative of green hydrogen called green ammonia. And this chemical serves a very important function. It can be used to store green hydrogen safely and cheaply. That would be a game changer for this energy transition. And while there are many companies in India that produce ammonia, power stocks like NTPC have a distinct competitive advantage in that they can produce both the hydrogen and ammonia under the same roof. Not only that, NTPC also intends to blend hydrogen with natural gas to create net carbon neutral gas-based power. This is a technology that very few countries like the UK and Germany possess, putting India right at the top of the global energy transition race. With such transformational developments, I would say that despite the recent rally in NTPC, the stock looks reasonably valued at 18 times PE. It is definitely a buy on dip stock for me. Second is the big one, Adani Green. They aim to become the biggest renewable energy provider in the world and are already setting up a plant to produce 1 million tons of green hydrogen annually by 2027. They intend to expand the capacity to 3 million tons by 2035. But this company's potential does not lie just in its production capacity. It can produce the hydrogen, transport it, use it to create electricity, transmit that electricity, and even export hydrogen fuel cells, all under the umbrella of the Adani Group. Add to that the fact that the Adani Group has an exposure to almost all forms of renewable energy, and this stock gets some real winner wipes. There is one problem with the company though. See, this technology is still relatively untested, but Adani has been investing billions in it, mostly through debt. So if something about the technology proves to be infeasible, this drop in the stock would be biblical. So I would go into the stock, but as a high risk investment. In that, I would invest the money I do not fear losing. Third is Advaita Infratech, and this is a very small company trying to battle it out with these giants. They aim to produce about 5 million tons of green hydrogen annually, and they've already started production of about 2 tons per year in Rishikesh. Now that is a very small production capacity, but what that does prove is that this company has the technical expertise. And that means there are avenues opening up for new investment and even takeovers. 
both of which would push the stock price very high. A market cap of 1600 crores for a company looking to produce more than 1.5 lakh crore worth of green hydrogen is frankly unbelievable. Additionally, they've also traditionally been involved in the telecommunications and power transmission sector, both of which are booming under growing India. So as an investor, I would be amiss if I do not invest in this company, but I would make sure that I either wait for a drop in stock price or invest in at least two to three installments. Finally, ONGC. It plans to produce 12 million tons of green hydrogen annually and has by far the most ambitious goal among all of these companies. It has already started production of about 25 liters per hour in Mumbai and 300 liters per hour in Delhi. And these are both small numbers, but remember this technology is very new. So as we prove the technology further, I expect the production to expand. In fact, ONGC believes so much in this that they are setting up a separate arm for their renewable energy business. But I will discuss more about this stock in a separate video. For now, all I can say is I definitely like the company and would be buying into it. Check this video for the top sectors in India for the rest of 2024. Until next time.